So what's in my fridge? Uh, hot dogs, sausage, Diet Coke, Coke, English muffins, bread. Uh, what have I been eating next door? I feel guilty, man. They've been taking such good care of me, but they're eating out there right now. I'm gonna have a hot dog. I can't see my toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not. The... Oh, that's awesome. How come you're not cooking? It's not time yet, man. I'm Where's my... the pastry chef? I'm... Hey, I'm on my half hour break. This is handy. Okay, I see garlic. Oh yeah. What now? Uh, make a risotto. What? Risotto. What's a risotto? You don't know what risotto is? What's a risotto? You're banned from this camp. All right, just drop off food. <laughs> you don't know what risotto is? What's a risotto? It's our hey, I know rice. what a I know what a chocolate chip cookie is. You know what this is? What? Oh, what the hell so, is this? So it's nice. it's, it's an immersion circulator. A what? It's an immersion circulator. Looks like a fish tank. It's no, it's not a fish tank. There's no fish in there. It can't be a fish tank. It's, it's an immersion circulator. So we're basically going to cook our filet mignons at 129.5 degrees for 50 minutes. Are you serious? And they're going to be perfectly medium rare. Then we're going to sear them. I'll just on the outside to get a little period Bayard effect. And then have that. that's what that's what you cook the filet mignon in a fish tank. They, they soak in water. They're back in the back. Oh, in the back. Rosemary and uh, butter. Wow, so you get a certain temperature. Yep. You put them in a bag, they soak in that for how long? So right now we're at, well, my set temperature is 129.5. Uh -huh. So perfect medium rare. It's temperature is 117. When it gets to 129, it's gonna let me know. And then I'm gonna float the bags for 50 minutes. And then when they come 50. out. 50. 50, five zero. And then when they come out, custom made by me, look. I was gonna say, look, yeah. Nice. Okay. So the water circulates around them. You have constant moving water, and then they, they you can never overcook them. They'll they'll be perfect. So then anywhere. after it comes out of that, what do you do with it? Then I'm gonna pat them dry, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna put the pan on. I'm gonna sear the shit out of them, like just to get okay. So no need, way. So two things. One is it takes a little bit longer to cook than your average bear. Right, right, That's right. Number one. Number two, you don't have any Maillard effect. Maillard effect is the caramelization when you put it over hot heat. Right, right, right. So we're gonna basically cook them for a long time, make them nice and tender, and they're Wagyu. So we have like Kobe, Kobe right. tenderloins. So you said you made this, but like- No, this, I didn't make this. this is a, no, this I know, yeah, but well, what'd you get this? Like, where's that come uh, from? Restaurant supply store. And oh, really? I, and then I cut it out and made my own little thing and- And that's it? Uh-huh. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, these goldfish, how long are they soaking for? We're floor marinating them for about three and a half hours. Oh, okay. And then we'll see what happens. And then what, then you sear them over there too, or what? Yeah, yeah, we sear them over there. What's that called? Funnel cake and sausages. Oh, no shit. I still haven't had any funnel cake here. Well, you're not gonna get it. You're gonna get bananas. Okay, wearing wearing this freaking suit, nobody's gonna sell me any funnel cake. That's true. That is true. What is this? This is our Boreo rice. So this is the fundamental for making risotto. What, what's it called? Boreo rice. Our Boreo is our Boreo. the grain of rice. Oh, okay. So you put beer in there. We're gonna put beer in it. See how it's got nice color? Oh my god. Have a nice day. What the hell is that in the block? Chicken base. Oh. So, since we didn't make break chicken stock, we're kind of cheating, but whatever. Give it a name, we're, we're camping. I mean, hello. It's like food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like food. Everything about my dinners is all about camping this week. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten better camping than at a restaurant. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, and the diesel is for what? The diesel goes in here. So we're going to put some diesel in here. Ready, look. So we got to put a little diesel in the thing. 
Oh my god, that smells so good already. I'm not a beer drinker, but... So we're gonna cook all the alcohol off of it, so you won't taste that beer, you won't taste anything in it. So, Thomas, in that great, in that great coat, there's some spoons, and then you can stir it. So our boiler, right? You have to constantly stir it, low temperature. Uh -huh. It's not like a regular rice where you put water, and then you put the cover on and the lid, and then it goes uh -huh. to this. I've never heard of it. Arborio rice. You never heard of risotto? I, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm a Polak. I mean, <laughs> I've heard of kielbasa. He's laughing at me right now. We won't put that on video. I'm not laughing. <laughs> we got Ghostbuster over there. Yay. Who are you going to call? I'm just flicking the nuts with a piece of garlic. It was awesome. <laughs> Off. Water stops moving. Yeah, we were just talking about this. So the water is actually circulating in there. It's, it's yeah. an immersion circulator is what it's called. Wow. So. Now what about one of those like ovens that like keeps it at a certain... Why not put an oven under the same amount of degrees? You can't. No? It, do, it doesn't come out the same? No. So now what? Go we got Ghostbuster cooking our beer. Yes. Who are you going to call? Tom Ghostbuster. There goes the diesel. There you go. Yeah, put some diesel fuel in there, yeah. Wow. What? And yes, they do collect garbage over here. And yes, amen, my satellite is working after falling off from up there. Uh, are my goldfish ready? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, those goldfish. No. Right there. Look at this. Okay. Self-serve, bro. Self-serve. Oh, so they're in a vacuum pack something. Yeah, they're, they're in a... Yeah. That's what sous vide means, under vacuum in French. Oh, really? That's the translation, oh, okay. under vacuum. Oh, my God. It smells so good over here. We got everybody standing around waiting. My balls well, around. They're yeah, waiting to eat. Or balls. Not camel See, if you were a pastry like chef, you know how fast you would have had a donut done by now? Chef, dude. Whatever, dude. Oh, Apparently, hey, that's the kitchen, good. and uh, and it's attached to my golf cart now, huh? Now garlic bread comes out. Holy cow. I have eaten better on this field over here than I've eaten at restaurants and at home. Definitely at home. Oh, dope, dope. oh no, no, she knows. She knows. I ain't cutting that one out. She knows. But she makes one mean hard-boiled egg, though. I do HVAC. Domino's would have been here by now already. Hey! No, they would not have. Those are fighting words, man. I called Domino's. Look, 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 look. At the same time we called the shitter crew. Wow. That's, yeah, you, can oh. eat it, you can eat it right now. Right. It's medium rare, yeah, all the from top and bottom. And it's been marinating, you said, for X amount of hours. Well, it's got rosemary and butter, so try to sort of. Perfect the medium rare, dude. All the way, side to side, down to bottom. Like a, like, like a, like a glove. <laughs> no, I've never seen cooking like, like this. Minimal, minimal moisture loss. It's heaven, bro. Yeah, I've never seen cooking like this. Look at that. So that's medium rare, huh? Oh, no, oh my god. Where's oh now we're switching pans. So did you 
did you learn how to cook like this at Denny's? Oh. <laughs> you see the look I got? Oh, man. <laughs> Cooking at the races. Ready to eat. Go, man. Get a plate right there. Already? Come on. All right. Look at these plates, too, huh? Whoa. Almost tripped. Holy cow, it smells good. A little risotto? Yeah. A little Brussels? Yes, little sir. Sugar? Brown sugar, bacon, and onion. Oh. oh. Have I told you lately that I love you? Uh, you know, I don't eat like this at home. What's that? Those That's are, it. Those are for the boys when they get back. Uh -huh. And garlic bread. So the question was, is out of all my adventures, what does this rank? The cooking crew, this is uh, this is a 20 out of 10. The strip club crew, uh, zero. <laughs> it is, look, it, it was delicious. Holy cow. Amazing. Okay, so you also, you gave me this thing here because what? You don't, what's wrong with the one I got? Actually nothing. It will, it will open a bottle of wine, but that's made by a group called Pull Taps, uh, and that's what he was serving. Okay, but you were all right. Now you're being nice on camera. You were making fun of me before. You said it pains you for me to open it up with my thing over there. Actually, this does feel good though. What is that? There's actually there's there's a. It's like an acrylic something on there, or not acrylic. It's Teflon coated. Okay. It's a blade to cut the foil. Oh, oh wait, you guys brought wine too? Yeah. You said you were dry. She, you man. And then there's there's a Teflon worm, and there's a two stage. Apparently, I ain't doing shit right at home. Oh no, 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 just <laughs> practice. You're gonna love it. All right. That is that garlic bread. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. It's, it's called Cole Bay Beef, which is from where? Cole Bay, Japan. From, from Kobe, Kobe, Japan. But it can only be Kobe yeah, if it's actually, like, beef. if it's raised and butchered in Kobe, yeah, Japan. Yeah, okay, so it's Cole Bay Beef, it's raised and butchered in Japan, and they massage it and feed it sake. Yeah, now he's making dessert and he's using Captain Morgan. Now this is looking good. Captain Morgan and bananas. Oh, yeah. Who are you gonna call? Hey, I bet you can't look at me and cut him at the same time. Whatever, dude. Don't you try me, dude. We drink it all day long. Dude. All night. There's an easy circumcision right there. <laughs> that was too easy, Paul. You gotta give me a harder challenge than that. You guys are right next to us. You got the one that those cornhole things? What'd you say? You guys the one that bought those cornhole things? Oh no, nothing goes got, in my cornhole. You got them right here, Bob. <laughs> first. 
Look at this. Oh my god. Look how warm that is. That feels good. And I already know it's gonna taste friggin' great. Alright, so uh so this guy's walking by. What the hell are you? What the hell am I? Yeah. I'm a fucking football player. What the hell do you think I am? Hey, look at this thing. Uh you look like a oh wait, oh that's a Oh every football player looks just like that. Just like this. Right. Minus a beer though. I'm out of beer. So hey. back, back to the campsite to get more. Nice! All right, well, be, care be careful getting night. home. Don't hit your head on anything. Hey. All right, so who, you know my line. What's my line? Who do we have here? Hey, who do we have here? Where are you from? I'm from Sebring, Florida. This is the Sebring International oh, Races. You're born and bred. Born and bred. Hey, and I've been going to the Sebring races since I was walking one years old, and I'm 22 now, so we're Gucci. And he came up here and he but said, hey, what? Are you hey, the HD broadcaster? Are you the HD broadcaster? And he is. And hey, and let me tell you something. Redneck Yacht Club, though. He's a Redneck Yacht Club dude. I've been going there since I was 16. That's, what's 16 to 22? What's that? Six I don't years? know. I was a biology major, not a math know. major, so. Know. Hey, it's a lot of years. Hey, I've been going there since about two years after they opened. And let me tell you something. Redneck Yacht Club is the shit. So if y'all go, I, I keep telling them. They got, love it. So what do you think it is compared to the Redneck Yacht Club? I don't like it. There's cops here. There's no cops. Tell them the about Yacht Titty Club. Row. Well, there's cops oh. there, but they don't do anything. Titty Lane wait, 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 is actually wait, 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 what it's yeah, called. Yeah, Titty Lane. That's right. You're titty right. Lane? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Titty Lane. Tell them about Titty Lane. And he's been going there since he was seven to Titty Lane. Hey. <laughs> Titty Lane, you say, let me see your titties. Okay, so guess you don't even have to fed? say, let me see your titties. What's up? Is your breast fed? Uh, I probably am, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cage there. What is that for hunting, huh? There's hooters there. Oh, you see the toilet there? Oh, is that what it said? The sacred shrine of low expectations. Take us to the party. What party? I don't know, a party. Oh, we're going to bed, because uh, there are no parties. I remember my first beer. I remember my first beer. There's the toilet. There's the boogeyman face. Dude, it's a sacred shrine of low expectations. Look at this. That's some serious bomb damage. What is this? Christmas decorations? <laughs> it's the gnome. <laughs> All right. 
Thanks for the ride. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Hey, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Snap. Tom's not done yet. Hold on. <laughs> what time is it anyway? It's One late minute. already. Um, Let good. me see. Dude, that shit gives me... Actually, no, it's not late. It's only 12.55. Yeah. So what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow is the garbage omelet. And all what? the leftovers, we saute it all up, and then we oh. dump eggs in it, and then that's the omelet. Garbage omelet. Garbage omelet. <laughs> so that means there's camel balls, no, there's dude, uh, dude, dude, lamb. We ate, Fellini, we ate all the camel balls. Oh, the, oh so there's not going to be any camel balls. So whatever no, other leftovers. Uh, sausage, fireball? Bacon, there's a leftover fireball. Sausage, bacon. I've had breakfast. I had lunch and dinner with you guys. I haven't had breakfast yet. So tomorrow might be a good breakfast. Garbage. Fireball. What's it called? Garbage omelet? Yeah, garbage omelet. All right.